Hello, everyone. Welcome to the, the TM update. We already covered uh, our sprint review and, and well, sprint review uh, from this uh, sprint. We are in the last week of this sprint. Um, and we already covered some of the hot topics and follow ups. And onwards to the last week. So let's go through it. So, uh, first, a quick announcement. So, I've removed public. I've, I've I mentioned this in the previous week that I was going to do it. So uh, I removed public access to the finance spreadsheets. Uh, the monthly financial reports are coming um, soon. Um, so yeah, that's just that's just it. Um, one more announcement and challenge: Don't miss out on on Wednesday's uh, community call. We're going to be talking about uh, the. Product vision season three. Obviously, there's going to be updates on other things like the town town uh, ambassadors, Polygon launch, of course, and a few other things. But um, but yeah, season three is going to be the the main the main topic. Um, it's been challenging, yet I think it was uh, quite rewarding to to put it together. Um, so so yeah, that's that's the announcement. And then here, Flip, can can you? Flip or or Liao or both or anyone else, uh, can you share some some learnings on the the town hunt? So the first le learning I, was that this was uh, kind of a, a soft launch, so maybe due also to Sarah's being on vacation. I think we didn't push it or kind of communicate it uh, as much as uh, uh, we should have. I think we just shared on the newsletter that had like, uh, I don't know, five other topics besides the referral race. And we shared it on Discord with the community only this weekend. Uh, but also, I mean, it's a good way to see um, how many people kind of realize that it exists and participated. Uh, Lial, do you want to share some of the numbers? Oh, Pedro already wrote that. <laughs> yeah, Pedro already wrote, but I can can just quickly mention those and also just make a, a brief comment, uh, which uh, it will be more relevant once we go over the metrics. But uh, we saw kind of an increase in terms of uh, uh, activation, number of users and so on, small increase, but uh, bigger than the last few weeks. Um, and so it's it's good to see that it isn't the talent and that's bringing everyone. So because that was one of the issues that we had with the referral races, which was the first iteration of yeah. what we're doing. Uh, and so I think this is healthy. Uh, so the first talent hunt with almost no uh, marketing push then uh, ended up with us having 12 participants. So by participants, I mean, uh, users inviting other talent, okay? Uh -huh. um, and this resulted in 35 new users that uh, filled in their basic profile. And on the current week, we have seven participants and uh, uh, six, uh, 16 new users that have already filled in uh, their profiles. So uh, as we mentioned, I think this can these numbers can go uh, way higher if we do some marketing push, and I think also we if we are able to sync the Polygon uh, more official launch with the race, we'll also see bigger mm -hmm. numbers here. Uh, but I think that uh, it's at a healthier state than uh, its previous uh, version. Yeah, and I think it's important to note that we kind of changed the rules on purpose. So this is not we won't have very huge numbers like previous races because the idea is that people only the invites only count when the people that sign up do a series of uh, tasks. So they need to connect their wallet, they need to fill out their about section. So they need it's not just signing up. You need to do more things. So this way we'll get more kind of quality users, not just uh, quantity. Cool. I'm I'm glad we learned. From from the the previous referral race, uh, I'm not sure everyone remembers, but we, we changed the rules a couple of times, and uh, that wasn't the best um, community experience. But uh, but yeah, I'm happy. You're happy. I I think you know we should talk about it a bit more. I mean, we're talking about it now. We're gonna mention it in the community call. Uh, pretty sure the ambassadors are gonna play a role here as well. So. Quite happy with the uh, with the results here. 
Um, all right, uh, Luminated Philippe, can you can you do like uh, a quick update on Mexico, uh, Bogota, and Lisbon townhouses? You know, just an overview, quick overview. Yeah, I can go quick. So, Mexico, we will release or share the report about Mexico uh, this week, and the video, the video uh, is almost ready, so we should be sharing it today or tomorrow. Okay. Uh, we're preparing for uh, Bogota, which will be in a bit more than um, a month. In Bogota, we'll do um, the talent brunch on October 10th, which is a Monday. So right between the Hackathon, the East Bogota Hackathon and uh, the DEFCON conference. Um, this, is, th this event is public in Talent Protocols Luma. And for... Just, just Ooh, one, one second before so Lisbon. Uh, if were you going to Lisbon? Yes. Okay. Before Lisbon, I saw on Pad and Wendau, which is kind of a competitor of of Townhouse. Um, very interesting. They opened up the applications for uh, DevCon Bogota, like a couple of days ago. I was thinking, wow. I mean, based on our experience uh, with with visas, flights, mm -hmm. logistics, it's just crazy. I mean, how, how do they do it? Either they're doing something really well. They're very or... disorganized. No. <laughs> they're very disorganized. Yeah. I don't uh, know. Yeah. They're not doing Can it we help well. them somehow? Because, I mean, we have a similar... Um, uh, mission. Maybe, maybe we can maybe, but we have a similar mission with other communities that I think we're closer with kind of Erdao and Bluda. We've been very close with them in Mexico okay. and we're already in talks with them. And okay. I mean Isabella knows them also very, very well. We're already in talks with them to see what we can do together in um Bogota hmm. and Lisbon. And I would rather focus on Isabella first. No, that was exactly my question. If you would partner up, like either like for the talent branch or for anything else with other with other projects, but Philip already answered. Yes. Yeah, yes, we, we're, we're in touch with them, and also because for DevCon, there's also the official scholarships from uh, the Ethereum Foundation. So the Ethereum Foundation gave scholars to fifty people, and uh, yeah, I'm already in, also in touch with some people that won that scholarship and see if they if we can do our welcome dinner. That will be before the hackathon and do it together with some of these communities so it helps oh. people kind of uh, create teams together and know them the, each other before going to that mm. i'm also gonna ping um crypto boys club um dina i believe mm -hmm. uh, i don't i don't know if they have scholarships like are she told me she told me that they wanted to okay. uh, yeah, they want to, no. but they don't have it yet. Um, Philip, uh, we also need like for the women, uh, women leaders in Web three. I'm in charge of the community uh, track, so mm -hmm. there will be one day of conference, and yeah, the agenda is still open, and we can definitely um, do something about it. Yes, either like a workshop, fireside chat, something like that. All right. Cool. Uh, let me just uh, give the uh, Lisbon, regarding yeah. Lisbon will announce the winners uh, this week. I mean, they're already selected and we're already in touch with them, coordinating details, but we'll announce publicly, I think on Wednesday, that's when it's planned. And we'll also have like a brunch and a few other events in Lisbon. The brunch will probably yeah. be before the hackathon or in October 27th. I'm excited for for the Lisbon one. Obviously, the Bogota one, but the Lisbon one, we found out a, a very special place in Lisbon to have a brunch and all that. Obviously, the the team is is all invited to to join, and um, yeah, more news on this one. Okay. We don't want to spoil the surprise. Gustavo, level up update. Do you want us walk yeah, through so, the the learning event and yeah, the, the course? About yeah, about the current cohort, I'm going to to do a second round of feedback next week. So I'll be in better conditions to to give, give feedback about it. But August was a very slow month, so probably are going to extend it until October. Uh, my focus now is on the learning events. It's going to be a bit different, like a four hours event. We still need to discuss details, and I'm going to have a call with Flip Pereira after this call to start to to bring. Uh, the, okay. the participants to help us to organize the, the event 
And the other focus is to, to work with Luminate on some talent house initiatives that are going to be joint initiatives between talent protocol, mm -hmm. between talent house. I'm always saying talent protocol, and I want to say talent house, between talent house and level up. And in the talent house Lisbon, we'll have a, a collaborative session that will be the end of the cohort. Okay. And we start to prepare either the next one. I don't think we're going to have like a next cohort like this one, but what is going to be level up from then on. And one of the possibilities is to integrate it into downtown. Uh, and to be honest, I'm really not about the name because every mentorship program is called Level Up, but you need to be to, to wait to see how I'm going to move forward. Is it going to be part of downtown? Or is it going to be like a, just an independent initiative? And I think the proper uh, timing to change the name is, is when we make this decision. Cool. A uh, quick question, Felipe Pereira from CrowdQuest, correct? Yeah. All right. You should put up the Luma event as soon as possible, not only for the community calls, start to get people lined up, but also for eventually to have some sponsors for, for the event, okay? Even though it's uh, online Yeah, yeah I'm just waiting. Uh, I'm just waiting to confirm that. Uh, uh, in, in fact, Luminita, uh, can you do it October 20? If yes, okay, we have a date. Yes. All right, put the Luma up, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, Isabel, let, okay, let's go. One announcement, three winnings. Okay, let's go. Yeah, um, so I'll be speaking on a panel this later this week. We are all invited, it's online. About the ambassadors. Uh, so like I said, in the beginning of this call, we had 317 applications. We already started last week, I already started doing the first uh, short list and interviewing some of the applicants. We'll be able to announce the first ambassadors this Wednesday during the community call. Um, however, we are still like taking more, um, like screening like more applications and takes in uh, taking more interviews in the future. Like the application, uh, the application for this first cohort is closed for now. Mm -hmm. In the very near future, we are looking into um, as we discussed uh, with the team, uh, we will leave the application form open and then we onboard on an ongoing basis. But for now, it's going good. And on Wednesday, we'll have mm -hmm. the first ambassadors from Talent Protocol. The the process we did, for instance, to close. Uh, not to close, sorry. Uh, we have our opportunities. So if you go uh, community, how can you help? We have the bounties. And then, you know, there's there's jobs which we don't have now, open roles, and you can reach out. And and the type form that we created is in a way that, look, we're underwhelmed. <laughs> uh, so that we can do the same here for for the ambassadors. Um, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, Flip, Flip was the one doing it. So he's, he's the pro. In, in this type of communication. Talking about Flip, you have a winning year, something you shared on your LinkedIn. Um, yes, so kind of made it to a top 10 list uh, once again with, uh, I don't know who made it. I think it was like a media publication from Portugal made a list of the 10, top 10 most promising startup space in Lisbon and we were feature, featured. So that I think it's a, uh, yeah, reason to celebrate and be proud. And this is, is all kinds of startups, not just Web3 startups. So it's, and given that Lisbon is kind of a, a place where a lot of startups live, it also makes us even more uh, cool. proud. Um, that's cool, but it's also cool to have community shares like this. So this was from one of the, um, the people um, going on the townhouse Mexico, East Mexico City. And um, yeah, it's just just super great. You know, have a read, uh, enjoy yourselves. It's just, it's good to know that we are empowering uh, these type of talents. It's really good. Okay, about metrics, um, let's go really quick. We're over time. Uh, so since uh, I didn't, I'll just quickly go over it. Um, overall, a uh, positive week for us, uh, comparing with the last one, we are green in almost every metric. Uh, we only went down in average time in, on page, but that was by one second, which given that the average is 20 seconds, I wouldn't consider that relevant. Uh, and so probably the thing that I would highlight the most is that the number of supporters or the number of 
users that are finishing their um, their initial quests, so either to fill in the profile uh, to get either a basic or a complete profile, are still a bit well to what we want. So um, it's it's something that we should keep track of because. Uh, more than new users, we want users with uh, good profiles, right? So I think it's an important metric to keep track of. So just mm -hmm. wanted to highlight those. Um, in terms it's, of action points... It's good, it's good to see the, the board all green. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so in terms of action points, um, I mean, we're releasing a new profile soon. There's a bunch of... Um, of changes coming in terms of onboarding and so on. Um, so not sure if there's any particular one. What I would say is that uh, for us to take advantage of the Polygon launch, launch and try to uh, bump up the number of uh, new users coming in. And to uh, so this can be important, especially to increase the number of supporters, right? Which was one thing that we've for a while thought about is that it's hard uh, to beyond cell because people generally don't have CUSD, they don't have cell and so on, right? So um, it will be interesting to see, to see how that evolves in the coming weeks. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, thank you for, for that. Uh, we reached the end of this uh, team call. So uh, thank you everyone and let's do this.